In this question, there is a block on the inclined plane pulled by a cable. We are asked to find the force of friction. Let us solve. As a first step, we need to find how many forces are there. You will see that there are four forces which are shown in red. Force on the cable, force due to weight, force due to normal force, the normal force is always by definition perpendicular to surface. Now the last one is the force of friction that is being asked in the problem. Now let us draw a free body diagram. To do that, we will shift force of friction so that the forces are coming out of a point and the free body diagram looks good. As a third step, we will have to choose the best XY axis. We choose this one as shown in green, where X axis is along the inclined plane. You will soon see the force get resolved quite easily in this choice of XY axis. In this XY axis, we see that all the forces are either in X or in Y direction except the weight vector. So we decompose weight vector in x and y direction like this. For greater clarity, we show it again on the right. The figure looks little messy, so I advise you to train your mind to remove the unwanted information like this. Before I proceed, may I request dear impatient students do not stop watching video when you see the final answer because I am going to teach you a way to get the right sine and cosine angles where students are likely to make mistake in such kind of problems. So please do watch the next slide. Coming back to the problem, we see that now it is very easy to solve. In y direction, the net force is zero because it is not moving along y-axis, shown in green. And here is the equation. In x-direction, the question states that it is moving with constant velocity. So there is no acceleration, and therefore the net force is zero. And here is the equation. In fact, this equation will give you the answer. This slide is about validation. The figure shows what we have just solved. Now let us imagine we make the inclination angle gradually to zero. Then we end up with a block on the table as shown in the lower figure. It has two easy equations that you should be very confident of. We just have to take one equation, the easier of the two. We make the angle 12 as zero and see if the upper equation is reduced to the lower one. Let us see. Yes, it is. If you had made the cause a sign, then you would never get upper equation reduced to the lower one, and you know something is wrong. That is all for this video. Bye-bye.